If you're a hopeless romantic, then this list is for you. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 unforgettable movie couples of the 1980s. Wouldn't it be great? Take that truck up to the lake, throw a couple of sleeping bags in the back. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we will be looking exclusively at live-action film couples. So animated film couples, such as Ariel and Prince Eric, need not apply. Whoa, hang on. I've got you. Number 10. Zack and Paula, an officer and a gentleman. Would you like to get a drink? Sure. Zack Mayo is an aspiring Navy pilot. After being accepted to the Aviation Officer Candidate School, he soon realizes that achieving his dream is going to be a lot harder than he ever imagined. Thankfully, he has Paula to help him during times of stress and adversity. And what do you want? I want to have a good time until you have to leave. While the film delves into some pretty dark themes, the love that emerges between the two characters provides moments of respite for viewers. Ultimately, it's the performances by Richard Gere and Deborah Winger that carry the story, lifting this movie up on our list where it belongs. Number 9. Princess Leia and Han Solo, Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. I love you. I know. While Star Wars might not be your typical love story, it's hard to deny the chemistry between these two characters. As the film begins, audiences quickly learn that Han and Leia have begun a relationship. And it isn't going very well. I think you just can't bear to let a gorgeous guy like me out of your sight. He's a scruffy-looking nerf herder, and she's trying to protect the galaxy from a hostile takeover. You know, your average couple. But when you break it down, this might be one of the truest incarnations of what a couple is really like. They might bicker constantly, but they'd do anything for each other at the end of the day. As Leia watches Han get frozen in carbonite, we dare you not to cry. Number 8. Lloyd Dobler and Diane Court say anything. But with that training net of high school gone, what's going to happen to us? While attending their high school graduation, kickboxing enthusiast Lloyd falls head over heels for the school's valedictorian Diane in this 80s flick. While the two characters couldn't be more different, they immediately recognize that there's a serious connection between them. Are you shaking? Oh my. No. You're shaking. Good film couples will usually encounter some form of adversity that will test the bounds of their relationship. And that's exactly what happens with Lloyd and Diane. You're not a permanent part of her life. You're a distraction. Ultimately, the two teen lovers overcome the odds stacked against them and prove that just because some people disapprove of your love, it doesn't mean you should let them win. You just described every great success story. Number 7. Ren and Ariel, Footloose. Do you want to kiss me? Someday. While the plot of this film might seem a little far-fetched nowadays, with the story revolving around a young man who inspires the youth of a small town to rebel after a band's dancing and rock music, the connection between the two lead characters still holds up. Ren is a fish out of water that rebels against the authority of the small town, while Ariel is the daughter of the town's pastor, the man behind the unconventional dancing band. This is my fight, you know, it's with the town, it's not with one guy. The two quickly realize they have feelings for one another and refuse to let anyone stand in the way of their relationship. Nothing says love like sticking together through thick and thin. And that's exactly what these two teens do. Come on, we'll take some. Thanks. Number 6. Samantha Baker and Jake Ryan, 16 Candles. Yeah, I could to see you. When it comes to 80s rom-coms about teens falling in love, Look no further than the master himself, John Hughes. In his first take on the genre, the director introduced the world to one of the best teen couples of all time. The relationship that develops between Sam and Jake is filled with just the right amount of angst, longing, and awkwardness to remind audiences that these are just a couple of teenagers trying to figure out what it means to be in love. Good wish. I already came in true. It's clear Hughes was only heating up as he would soon produce another iconic couple, Bender and Claire in 1985's The Breakfast Club. Down, down, down. 
Number 5. Buttercup and Wesley, The Princess Bride Farm boy, fill these with water. Please. As you wish. Following the epic romance of Buttercup and her farm boy Wesley, this film traverses the fictional country of Florin. As Wesley battles using his wits and strength in an attempt to reclaim his love from the clutches of an evil prince, he encounters an array of interesting individuals, all with their own tales of love and loss. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. This movie couple checks off a number of important categories when it comes to being unforgettable. Passion? Check. Perseverance in the face of evil? Check. The ability to make it through a fire swamp in one piece? Check. Adversity only makes their love grow. And if that isn't a sign of a solid movie couple, then we don't know what is. As you wish. Oh, my sweet Wesley. Number four, Andy and Blaine, Pretty in Pink. Feel any better if I ask you to the prom? John Hughes does it again. In this well-known 80s flick, working class Andy falls for dreamy rich boy Blaine. While the two characters hail from different sides of the tracks, their infatuation with one another is obvious from the get-go. How you doing? Just take your fine. As the social structures of their high school attempt to keep them apart, the two characters learn to stand up for what they believe in. The film captures the feeling of young love and all of the ups and downs that are attached to it. Set to the tune of an awesome soundtrack, this film is an honest look at a young couple trying their hardest to make it work. Always believed in you. Just didn't believe in me. Number three. Johnny Castle and Francis Baby Houseman, Dirty Dancing. Breathe. Frank? Nope. While spending the summer at the lavish Kellerman Resort, Francis Baby Houseman becomes enamored with bad boy dance instructor Johnny Castle. Forbidden love is the theme of this classic rom-com, as Baby hails from a well-to-do family, and Johnny is the proverbial rebel without a cause. A number of steamy dance routines are likely to make even the most reserved filmgoers start to sweat. The chemistry between these two lovers burst off the screen and into the hearts and minds of viewers everywhere. What gal in the 80s didn't want to take a vacation to the Catskill Mountains to find their hunky dance instructor? Nobody puts baby in a corner. Come on. Number 2. Loretta Castorini and Ronnie Camareri, Moonstruck. Yes, John Anthony Camareri, I will marry you, I will be your wife. Loretta, an Italian-American woman working as an accountant in Brooklyn, is all set to marry her boyfriend Johnny, until she unexpectedly falls in love with his brother Ronnie, a baker with an enthusiasm for the opera. I love two things. I love you and, and I love the opera. While this particular film couple is definitely one of the more eccentric to make the list, their love is undeniable. Standout performances by Cher and Nicolas Cage carry the film, as both actors impressively inhabit the roles of star-crossed lovers. Who could forget the passion in their eyes during that first lovemaking session? The moral of this rom-com is you never know when love will jump up and slap you in the face. Snap out of it! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Italian. Now they're practical. Is nothing that I own sacred to you? Only your $375. <laughs> Number one, Harry Burns and Sally Albright, When Harry Met Sally. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. It's hard to picture an 80s film couple without these two characters jumping to mind. The seminal picture that closed out the decade with a bang when Harry Met Sally is the story of, you guessed it, When Harry Met Sally. The two characters weave in and out of each other's lives over the years, stopping here and there to discuss their current physical, emotional, and sexual states. Ultimately, desire wins out and the two end up happily married. Three months later, we got married. Yeah, it only took three months. Twelve years and three months. A constantly sophisticated repartee makes their relationship one for the ages, as both characters share flirtatious exchanges over the course of the film. Unsurprisingly, the film came in at number 25 on AFI's 100 Years, 100 Passions. Do 
you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.